So we're at 465 Lake Hollingsworth Drive, and I want to show you a long, detailed walkthrough of this beautiful home. It's right behind me. The lake is right in front of me. Let's go take a look. So this is going to be a little bit of a 360. This is Lake Hollingsworth. Check out the walking path right here. Walk or run. And then here's the lake right here. This guy's biking over here. Florida Southern College is right across the way, all over there. Absolutely beautiful, almost three miles. Super great location, close to downtown Lakeland. And there is the beautiful home for sale. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's go inside and take a look. You can see all the facts, all the details below in the written description. It's gonna tell you square footage, four bedroom, three bath, all the different details about this home. But I did wanna show you just some really nice features when you first walk in. The idea is to give you more of a detailed look at this beautiful home. So you can see the crown molding and this, there's shutters on the windows, which is overlooking the lake. This is built by Tapia. And then Holbert Homes is built an addition in the back. But check this out when you first walk in. Nice open design, nice open floor plan. There's a pool there, we're gonna show you that in just a second. So let's do this. We are going to come into the kitchen and see this first. And just kind of swing back around. So you can see the beautiful kitchen area. Plenty of natural light in here. We could turn these lights off and it still have plenty of natural light. There's French doors that are going to the pool area. See the beautiful um, granite countertop, custom built cabinets. You've got stainless steel appliances. Now there's a butler's pantry. I'm gonna show you more of the kitchen, but there's a butler's pantry right here is really nice coffee bar again look at all the little touches on the cabinets as you can kind of see that up here so we're going to back up and i'm going to show you your this is the ge profile uh, edition uh, for the appliance and then you can see the tile backsplash double oven bosch you know what i say that i this is also, you name it, it's kind of a convection microwave. So let me correct myself. The, the uh, pantry is actually behind here. Okay, so it's really nice and hidden. It does have double dishwashers. Kind of looking back out. And if you're not sure where to put your spices, pretty cool spice rack. It's a Bosch it's a gas um, range. All right, so we're gonna go to the to the back right in this home and see the nice size bedroom here. So this is really like a guest uh, guest bathroom, if you will. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is um, it's got a nice size walk-in closet. Okay, I have my light on here. We go. So it's got the built ins and it does wind all around there. Nice size closet. So you've got a the bathroom door, you can access it here. But rather than do that, I'm just going to show you. You can also access it this way. Okay, so walk in shower. Really pretty. Just notice the details. This has even got a heavy crown molding in here. There's the pocket door, which uh, leads to the bedroom. Granite tops, ceramic towel flooring. Uh, if you'll notice, the baseboard is is uh, also customary. Five and a quarter inch. Actually, that could be a little bit even higher than that. So we're going to move through here and I'm going to go toward the 
laundry area. If you also notice too, these are round corners. So um, not your squared off corners, but round corners. This is heading to the laundry room. A lot of these have uh, motion sensors on them, so that's the reason I'm for the hesitation, but you can see the nice size area for your laundry. Got the sink, a lot of cabinets, ceramic tile flooring, more space here. Nice custom woodwork trim. Looking outside to the side entry garage. Garage, there's some additional space around the left-hand side, so we won't get into that, but there is additional spacing too, which is great. Super nice family lives here. So let's get back. This is the dining area. So we're gonna go to the left-hand side of the house, but before we do, I do have to show you, this is this is the a timeout room for bad people. Uh, it is a joke, 100%. But it's a great, it's a great storage area. Little kids would probably like to put a little desk in here, which, hey, look. So, uh, but it's great storage or just fun area for the kids to play. So let's go over here to the right, to the left, I mean, and look at the office. This is um, double doors. You can see again, just all the trim work. And this overlooks the lake. Let me come back out here and show you the ceilings, the room, a little bit more room behind here, not much, but three windows, excuse me, three windows overlooking Lake Hollingsworth, shutters. The master primary suite is located on this side. So nice. Gorgeous entranceway with the chandelier. Got your wood floors, real wood floors. Open right up into the primary suite. French doors overlooking the screen pool. Which I'm gonna show you that in just a minute, but imagine opening up your blinds and seeing the rock waterfall this way. Very pretty. Coming back this way, the master bathroom is gorgeous. You see all the natural light, the tub, huge shower. Everything is just really well kept. Toilet room there, and then you've got some additional built-ins. So I'm gonna come around here and show you the other side, which is there's a his and her, if you will. And this shower is really nice also with the Costello tile all the way up, and you've even got, again, crown molding throughout. So it's just really, really pretty. There's a area you can, uh, for a bench. Dual shower heads, love the natural light. Who needs to flip on a light? Oh, and the rain head, almost missed that. Who needs to flip on a light in the morning to take a shower? Just got the natural light coming in through the windows. I love that feature. All right, so we're gonna come in here in this closet. It's gonna have, a, again, a sensor. So let me just uh, activate it here for a second. There we go. This closet is anybody's dream because look at the, the cabinets, all the space, all built-ins, straight ahead too. Again, there's a window for natural light. So it's all right here also for shoes, for belts, for purses, hats, what have you. Got all these built-ins. So gorgeous closet, and even space on top if you want to. So that, that completes the downstairs. We're gonna head upstairs to see the rest of the house. Got the real wood here. Now upstairs, you want to kind of get an idea. This is looking down again with some natural light. And then you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom. Nice. 
nice size bedroom. I believe that's a king bed. So you still have plenty of bedroom space in here. Now this closet is a little odd, but yet it's, it's very spacious. You got like a, like a walkway here. And then I've got a dresser, a couple dressers, so plenty of space. There's actually storage in that room right there. That's where your one of your air handler is. So you got that, and then you got the rack. So plenty of closet space. You could do so much with this. Um, you could add some different custom shelving, what have you. So it's really, it's a perfect kid's bedroom. Before we head to the other bedroom, let's take a break in the action and see how Lake Collinsworth is going. You can have this seat, hang out, or come over here on the balcony. Tower roof, you can see. Lake Collinsworth has the country club on the south side. Again, Frank Lloyd Wright architecture with Florida Southern College on the north side of the lake. Super established area of Lakeland. Very desirable. Great location. Can't go wrong. You can get anywhere from this location, meaning south central, in 10 minutes. Not even that in some cases. Less than that. But there's a little bit of traffic. You got 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see with the door shut, you're really not getting any noise. Let's go into this bedroom. Again, double windows. Nice flooring. Crown molding, walk-in closet right here. With some built-ins. So you get an idea, there's a lot of storage space in this home. Heading to the right, there's a linen closet straight ahead and then this is the full bathroom there's not even a light on in here but you don't need it you get again some natural light crown molding get the custom uh, mirrors and then winding around to the left the motion sensor is the is the uh, toilet and the tub shower combination some people like tubs for younger kids or just taking baths like doing that so um in really good shape. It's neutral, so there's all kind of decorating touches you can put on this if you wanted to. Home is in tremendous shape. So we're gonna head downstairs, and what's next is gonna be the pool area, the outdoor area, along with the separate detached 600 square foot office slash full bathroom slash whatever you wanna do. Love that space also. So. We're basically gonna head outside, right through these doors. So we just walked outside the French door and I wanted to show you the, um, the beautiful lanai. It's got pavers. It's all fully screened. This is really nice. I don't have the lights on, but this all lights up along with the, um, the other can lights. Check out this built-in grill. Got a fridge out here. If you're looking to just kind of hang out on your patio, this is the place for you. It's off the master suite. This is those doors. We're having some of that gorgeous Florida weather today. That's your detached office. I'm gonna show you that next. It is fenced at the wrought iron gate here. And then your air conditioners are on that side of the house. We don't need to see all that. But just to give you an idea of this extended deck, it's beautiful. Really, really nice. Home was built in 2015. The office was added on a few years after that. It's got the tile roof, it matches up very well. Let's go take a look at the office. Here we go. All right, so let's take a look at the office slash could be a bedroom. There's a full bath, very, very multi-use. 
Absolutely gorgeous. The ultimate man cave. And you can see just uh, it's a perfect office, or you could turn this into a mother or father-in-law suite if you wanted to. So let me, let me back up. You can see there's windows everywhere. You've got two here. And you've got two additional windows this way. So um, to the left is our full bathroom. So let me just show you that first so you kind of get an idea of uh, everything. That's the door that was to the uh, other side of the building. You can see here, framed mirrors, everything's done just first class. And then you have a beautiful walk-in shower. like the ultimate office setup and uh, this is the wood floor so we're going to come into really what's like a workout room or whatever you'd like and so this in this case uh, it's, a, it's a video room this particular uh, scenario and they've got a like a sauna here so you've got windows two windows in the back and then these two windows with curtains this way so if you wanted to, you could add a closet right in there that's perfectly cut out uh, to add a closet easily. And then this is all tray ceilings. So let's give you an idea of the size of this room. We have the measurements online. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you outside and show you to the left where the um, side entry garage is. Again, you've got pavers all around. This is where it's going to house some of the uh, AC units along with the pool equipment. And then this is our um, space coming up. Parked in the driveway, plenty of parking. You can see there's your garage. But again, extended parking. We've got two vehicles parked here now. You could easily put one, two vehicles uh, on here at least. So I hope this has given you a great idea of this beautiful home. Love to tell you more about it. My name is Brian Stevens, eXp Realty, whether selling or buying, you gotta call Brian. Have a great day. If you like this content, you like what you're seeing, you wanna see more beautiful videos about Lakeland and Central Florida, like and subscribe to this channel, even hit the notification button, that way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video.